Chris, not only do you have all these late show nominations, but you're one of the producers on next week's primetime ceremony. That's right. How do you how do you balance everything? That's a great question. You're actually carp absolutely carp uh, carp. This is Kira Kelly. There are two sides of my brain, um, and this one is really fun. This is like, hey, we're we're nominated. It was an incredible night for the election night. Um, so yeah, you bring bring your son, you have fun, and meanwhile, the next week is uh, for the last six weeks. Uh, it's been a lot of what I've been thinking. Uh, but I promise you, Stephen is so ready for this thing, and I don't want to give anything away. There will be some nudity. Oh. <laughs> um, since you took over. And the election, all of that combined together. Right. The show's been number one for week after week after week after week. How does that go over within the offices? What 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 kind of a, what kind of a upswing did that bring everybody's morale? Listen, I, I actually think the morale and the upswing happened when the shows really started to click. And that actually happened well before the ratings caught up to that. So to be candid, there hasn't been a huge change in morale because it's not a big part of the day-to-day -day operation of the show. You don't, no one comes in and says, how did it go last night? Did that hold, like that's my job. They know that uh, what they're doing is having an impact and that that's really where the morale boost comes from. And you know, the ratings is just kind of gravy. It makes my life easier. Um, and as I've said, when, you, when the ratings are okay, it lets you navigate a little bit out into the future and not have to worry about the impending storm that moment. So it's been good. When you get a huge booking like Scaramucci or Hillary Clinton next sure. week yeah. or whatever, what goes through your mind? I mean, it's like, like you bring a, bring a gong and say, we got it? Um, yeah, because <laughs> Stephen is such a, you know, has such a unique back and forth with these people that um, it's built a little bit of a brand that even if they're doing, you know, Scaramucci did Sunday morning uh, show with, with Stephanopoulos the day before, but it still was a huge night for us because what Steven brings to it is so different. Uh, so yeah, we, our booking department is on fire. Like we've got some really good stuff uh, that we're going to be announcing in a couple weeks, but yeah, it's, it's, that's been really fun. That's been really fun. I was being interviewed yesterday by somebody about the Emmys. And they asked me what did I think Colbert, how what I, he would do next week. I said, well, I don't know about the political side. You really can't do that as much on a broad show. I said, but I know he's a huge TV fan. And I've seen that all summer as he's had the Emmy nominees on. Is that what you're seeing that he's going to bring to the show? For sure. Um, it's not the late show. It's the Emmys. Uh, and you'll see him really celebrate television, which is what the night's all about. So I promise you will like it. A little bit of a surprise. Some, some of like a sneak peek tip you can give us is going to happen? Nope. I already told you. Right. Nudity. That'll be our There'll headline. There'll be some kind of nudity. Okay. Thanks so much. Really good to see you, Chris.